Hey there YouTube, I'm going to do a little bit different video format for today. You can see here we got a uh, GoPro stand. You might recognize it if you own a GoPro, because this is the little plastic piece that's on display on top of the package. It's stuck on with these four little foam pads. I kept it, because it has come in handy on a few occasions. You put a little weight on the back of it and use it as a stand. So, a little freebie, because those GoPro stands and stuff aren't really all that cheap. What I'm going to do is make it even more useful. You can see here we have a hot glue gun. It's already hot. Because I got a sticky booger thing over here on the, on the glass. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that hot glue gun. You might be able to see it. And these, well, they're magnets. They're neodymium magnets. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put one magnet in each corner. And they're approximately, you know, something like the same height as those little, those little pads. I'm not going to peel the pads off of there. But I might put some felt tape over there or even just a piece of masking tape or something I can peel off in case it gets metal shavings or something. I'm planning on ma I'm making a mag base. You know, something I could put on the hood or trunk or anywhere else on a, on a metal surface. It'll make life a lot easier. One warning if you try to do something like this. Just keep it away from your hard drives. Like this. You probably don't want it any closer than that. Yeah, I have hard drives that close. I wasn't even planning that. But anyway, so what I'm going to do, we're just going to do a little arts and crafts. You've used a hot glue gun before. Hopefully. Just squeeze a little hot glue out. We're going to burn ourselves. And we're going to put a little, well, we're going to push that magnet down into the, down into the corner of the, uh, here. Yeah, it's kind of messy, who cares? We're not going for pretty, we're going for cheap and easy and effective. And we're getting that, so. These little bitty magnets can get away from me real easy too. I lost one on the floor before I started making the video. You gotta keep them separated. hot. That's really hot. <laughs> I just burnt the crap out of my finger. Got a big old blob on the end of my finger. So, uh, I plan on, I have a video idea I want to try that led me to uh, want to make this mag base anyway. And I hope that didn't just leave a big old blister on the end of my finger. So my video idea that I'm going to try after making this is um, I'm going to stick this to like the inner fender on the truck and I'm going to have it pointing at the headers. Some of you car guys might know where I'm going with this. If you've ever watched any of those really cool like dino cell videos where they turn the lights out and they do a full pull on the dyno on the engine stand. It doesn't even have to be on an engine stand. It can be in the car with the hood up. But you'll see those headers glowing nice and hot. I want to see if my truck does that. Or even the Civic for that matter. 
I've never looked, but I know the headers on the Civic are quite discolored, so I'm wondering if they've ever gotten red hot before. But I'm just curious about that. Let me know what you think about this style of video, and if it's helpful for you, inspires you to do anything else like this. Maybe get some, maybe you like mechanical things, you want to do arts and crafts, so let me know what you think. Uh, until next time, we'll see ya.